So it's a new day, let's go and get it. So I've just done my messages and offers, um, I need to do obviously, I uh, need to get those parcels labelled up from yesterday that you saw. Um, another little tip with messages, I was just thinking then, um, what I generally do now is, you know sometimes you'll get a message where it says, item that ended da di da da, and normally it's a, a customer with an issue. What I do these days, 99% of the time, is click on those messages first, because they're normally the ones that you know, are the most troublesome or, or bring up the most issues, get them out of the way first and then the other uh, messages that are just inquiring about various different things about the items, um, they're a little bit easier to deal with. So basically what I'm saying is just get the hard messages done first and then deal with the easier messages. Um, it's found, I find that helps my mental state um, a lot better because obviously I'm getting rid of the harder messages just straight away you know I don't need to deal with them anymore so yeah and as you can tell I've still got this cold but it is slowly starting to break I can feel it breaking a little bit more so it's time to weigh the parcels <laughs> So what I do is I group the parcels together and just literally put like 1,000 grams in there so to cover basically over the weight they are anyway. Um, but it means this way I can do them in bigger batches and then it, it's obviously I'm spending a lot less time on them. Parcels are in the sack and the rubbish is in the bin. Uh, so yeah, looking good. So I'm just going to grab some breakfast now and then it is off out to do the parcels and also to go to my lockup as well. Need a couple of things from that. It is starting to look quite bare. I've literally not put anything new in it for about a month because I was getting all the Doctor Who figures that I was buying in big job lots delivered to my house. So I wasn't actually putting them in the lockup or anything. But I'm going to an auction on the 8th I think it is. And my plan is to get quite a lot of stuff from that, so that'll fill it up a little bit at least. But yeah, I'm having quite um, hard trouble filling this lockup, so I really need to get sourcing. So I'm at the lockup now and I just wanted to do a very quick segment on is it a good idea to get a lockup, right? Because this is just coming from my own experience, I'm not saying this is right or wrong. But essentially I'll show you more than I'm actually going to talk about it. But it's great for the space, right? Getting a lockup is brilliant for the space. But a lot of the stuff in this lockup is just stuff I have dumped, uh, the remainder of auction job lots, you know, the stuff I don't really want to deal with at the time. I pulled the best bits out to list and then the, the sort of, uh, you know, the crappier job lots come in here essentially. Um, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of a pan and talk you through a few of the different things I've got in here and um, why if you are getting a lockup you need to be kind of a lot more efficient than I am and actually basically save the better stuff in the lockup so then it's easier to deal with opposed to just pulling the better stuff out to list straight away and then having a lockup filled with kind of uh, stuff you know so anyway flip you around and I'll show you a bit of the stuff that's in here so as you can see these chairs have been in here for ages just not moved at all they just well, they, well basically I moved them from over there to there but that's about it um, all this stuff has been with me for over a year easily uh, even before the lockup existed this has just been dumped in here uh, in the past few months just to kind of fester um, as I say it was previously um, back back in the spare room it's just yeah, just random stuff. Um, all this is random stuff as well, bundle, you know, things that need bundling, but there's not any bundles for. So again, that's just left in here to fester. And then there's just loads of random job lots, things that I don't really want to deal with. Random lights and stuff up there. Uh, random things up there, Ghostbusters house thing that's been in here for ages. Uh, random stuff that I uh, took back from the spare room and brought it in here. And then again, just random pottery and stuff that 
I've not really had the um, motivation to deal with. Uh, as I say, they're not the best job lot, so there's probably not brilliant stuff in there. And then, again, just, ran just random stuff. Things that need bundling, but I've not got enough for a bundle. Um, and then a random like military um, stool up there as well. And anything big and bulky, it generally just gets left in here. Oh, also, oh, where is it? Where's it gone? Oh yeah, so it's behind there. Do you remember that picture I bought ages ago at the auction that's like massive? Um, yeah, well, that was a complete fail and it's just like, just sat in here. Um, so yeah, just bear those pieces of advice in mind. If you get a lock up, keep it clean, keep it efficient, keep it full of good stuff that you want to deal with and don't let it get cluttered up like mine is with all just stuff that I don't want to deal with and I have no motivation for. Right, so I've done the packaging now, um, and yeah, doing really well today. It's only about half ten. I've got some sorting to do now with some of the stuff from the lockup. I don't know if you can see some uh, box down there. Um, so I'm going to get some sorting done. Need to do some photography, need to do some listing. Uh, need to have a little bit of a sort of a spare room, and also I've got Thursday talks as well in a little bit. But um, yeah, doing well so far. So I've just finished sorting what was in this box uh, here, we've got some um, Old Country Rose, uh, Royal Albert there, uh, we've got some Paragon, a random just Paragon uh, sort of tea service there, um, I need to look into that because I don't know the pattern or anything so um, I think there should be some good money in that, not too sure on how much though, and then we've got some random other uh, service there as well that there's no brand on it or anything. I don't think I'm going to get a lot of money for that. But as you can see, coming back over here to the Old Country Rose, I've never really had this before. I've never really, you know, looked up the value or anything. But there's six trios here. Now, a trio is um, a side plate, a saucer, and then obviously a cup there. And uh, six trios of this have gone as high as £55 plus postage. There's one gone for about 35 40 quid plus postage. But there is actually one... Uh, for six trios that have gone for 55 quid plus post. So that's pretty cool. I could either sell them individually. So what I mean by that is like one single trio on its own. So side plate saucer and a cup on its own uh, for around like 10 pound plus postage and obviously put quantity six on the listing or just sell them as the full six together and hopefully get around that 50 pound mark. So not sure on them how I'm going to do it, but um, I might go for just, you know, slime the six all together, just get it gone that way. The only issue with doing that, obviously, is packaging. It's, you know, you you have a higher risk of obviously them breaking in transit if you've got a larger service um, in a box, you know. Whereas if you do them in trios, they're less likely to break because there's not as many ceramics in that one box. So, yeah, we'll see on that, but I think I will do uh, the six trios together. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. So just been doing some sorting. I've got another box down there to sort out as well. Delivery. I wonder what's inside. Oh, how exciting. It's my black palette wrap I ordered. So I have just been for a walk. Um, and before my walk, I got a few other little bits and bobs done. I did a little bit of tidying and stuff. Just general bits and bobs, really. Um, I'm now going to have lunch in about 20, 10, 20 minutes. It's just coming up to 12 o'clock. So I'll leave it about another 10, 20 minutes. And then um, I need to do Thursday talks. I need to get prepped for that and uh, do that. So that'll be exciting. And then after that, I've got my photography, listing, maybe a bit more sorting I think I might have to do as well. So yeah, plenty still to do. I am now just getting ready to do Thursday talks. So I've done Thursday talks now and uh, people seem to like my mum being on there. So uh, yeah, that was really nice. Um, I've just got a delivery, so I'll flip you around and show you what that is. So surprise, surprise, it is a load of Lego. It's actually a massive box. It's, I can't believe how big this is. Um, but yeah, so yeah, just generally Lego for quarter four next year. You know, although I don't know whether I'm going to be able to sell on Amazon, um, I'm still buying it, of course. That's not, that's no reason to stop buying it because I can still sell it on eBay. Um, I'm just making sure that, um, you know, my buying price is good. Um, so that if I do have to sell it on eBay and clear it for less money, I can still make some, uh, you know, some profit on it. <music> So 
So I just got back from a walk and uh, now I need to label up these parcels before I can get on with some listing. So it's been a pretty productive day today. I've got quite a lot of things done. Um, I haven't got any listing done though yet. So I'm going to get on and do some listing right now. And then that will about wrap the day up. As you can see, it's slowly going dark. It's just gone half three. So um, yeah, I'll get some listing done and uh, that'll be the day pretty much done. So yeah, pretty happy with today. Got quite a lot of stuff done. Random bits and bobs done, to be honest. Just little jobs. I got a bit of tidying and stuff done as well. So yeah, it's been quite nice today. Um, it, I'm really starting to feel like I'm getting back into it a little bit more now. And come next week when I've got this auction to go to, and uh, obviously I'll be getting more stock, I'll definitely be uh, starting to feel that um, motivation come back for reselling even more. And um, yeah, can't wait to get back into it properly um, when I do that auction and so I have finished my final listing so yeah that's 10 listings done yesterday and now 10 listings done today so I'm pretty happy with that obviously I'm just getting back into it after the break from Christmas um, and hopefully next week I can start to hit maybe a few days I'll get you know 15 listings done maybe even hit that 20 listings uh, in one day done as well um, and obviously then I can really start to pile up my listings and really increase the value of my shop as well so yeah pretty happy with that pretty good day I think I'll sign off the vlog here I know uh, it's not particularly really late or anything but I don't think I'm going to be doing much else now in the way of reselling content the only thing I'll be doing is obviously editing this vlog um, in terms of work there's not going to be anything else that really that I'll be doing so hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please do give it a big like down below if you have any comments questions or queries drop them down below too also check out any of the links in the description social media etc is all down there and uh, yeah I will see you in the next one